Hey y'all, it's a rainy Sunday morning and uh, naturally I decided, you know what, it's time to tear apart the bug out bag again. Cause. Uh, and that uh, got me thinking about this little cook set that I got at Walmart. I think this was 25 bucks. And I've been wanting to try it out. See, a little Stanley 10 piece. It's got uh, a pot and a lid and a spatula and a ladle and some cups and bowl things and oh and a cutting board. So I figured uh, I'd bust into this thing and tell you whether or not I think it's worth 25 bucks. So it's got two 20 ounce bowls and lids. Uh, lids double as cutting boards. One ladle with an extension handle one spatula with an extension handle, and a liter and a half pot with a vented lid. A liter and a half is pretty good size. So, uh, got this in the camping aisle at Walmart. Stand by and I'll pop it open and show you what we're dealing with. All right, out of box. Stanley Prep and Cook Set. The first thing I noticed was that. There's probably a way to mitigate that, but we'll see. So there's your vented lid. It's got a little pull tab. I hear Canada geese. Temperature must be dropping. Let's get this little folding hasp handle over here. Squeeze that, it'll fold back over top. Hold the lid on. Here's one of our lids slash cutting boards. So this is probably a, a decent lid. Um, I don't know about a cutting board per se, but I guess it would work for that. Here's our spatula slash ladle set. I'll get those put together here in a minute. Here's instructions on how not to die in every language possible. Holy cow. Entrien et utilisation. Thank you. Jeez, okay. Shut up, chicken. Here's our two cuppy bowls. It's a pretty good size cuppy bowl. And then a liter and a half uh, stainless pot. I think it's stainless. It feels like steel. It doesn't feel like aluminum. Yeah, where did you go? Right there. Stainless steel. Single wall. Polypropylene cutting bowls and boards. Uh, PA nylon uh, utensils. So, yeah. These are just plastic man it's in a clip together to make this little spatula slash ladle system not bad I think it says it weighs one and a half pounds 1.6 pounds there you go 1.6 pounds I can tell you right now from looking at it if you got a short bug out like by short, I mean 50 miles or less. You don't need this. This is not for you. Or your bug out bag is all messed up. If you have a short bug out, here's your meal prep. Okay? Here's your meal prep. Should I keep hammering this? Here's your meal prep. If you got a short bug out, Y'all knew it was coming. Here is your meal prep. Peanut butter. Man, peanut butter. Peanut butter will get you 50 miles. If you have a long bug out, like mine, it's 200 miles, this might make sense for you. Although, honestly, look, I'm reaching into the side compartment of my bag right here. Pack cover. And then cook system 
16 ounce stainless steel cup with a green hand towel wrapped around it around a uh, one liter brushed aluminum water bottle. This is my current cook system. And look, mucho more quieto. So if you have a long bug out, this might be good for you. If, I'll tell you where I think it really would serve well, is if you're doing a through hike or something, you and some buddies, or you and your kids are going camping, this makes sense. And for 25 bucks, it seems pretty well made. Makes sense for that. But where I think it would really shine would be in an inch bag. What's an inch bag? I'm never coming home bag. And I mean, it does nest. I mean, look, I just got it all back together again. Nests very well. But in an inch bag, I could see this thing excelling because you actually have some capability to do some cooking here. Um, unlike, you know, this system right here, this is basically for heating liquid and making cups of uh, parboiled rice. That's what it's for, and that's what it does. This here, let's say you just happen to eat things that go forth on pause, and you made a Paiute deadfall and killed you a little fluffy bunny or a whatever, right? And you clean that thing, quartered it up, and threw it in this pot with a liter of water, let that sucker cook down, you find you some wild onions, mmm, it'd be pretty good. All right, you could make stuff with this, but I don't think for, because it's fairly bulky, I mean, here's it next to my head, okay, for size. Uh, here, you want a, a good size comparison? Hold on. Full size Glock, pot. There's your side by side. So, versus this side by side. So in closing, this here, Stanley, seems like it would definitely do the job. Um, this guy right here. I think for a solo bug out, not worth it. For short length, bug out short distance 50 miles are in not worth the weight or the bulk um, because remember I mean especially for me I'm carrying all my calories with me carrying all my calories with me I've got 18 pounds of food in this bag with me to get me I think it's 18 it might be more than that. I don't remember I'm always in and out of this thing it's, it's somewhere around, I usually keep somewhere around 20 pounds of food in my bag, okay? So I'm going to add another pound and a half to that and the bulk of that system for me to go 200 miles. I don't know if it's worth it for me in my bug out. If you have a short, a short bug out, it's not worth it for you in your bug out. But for an inch bag, I'm never coming home bag. You need to grab your stuff and get. I think it makes a lot of sense. For... Uh, through hiking, hang it on the trail, I think it could make a lot of sense if there's more than one of you. And for camping with your kids or your family or your buddies or your mag, your tribe, your whatever, I think it definitely makes sense to have something like that around. It's a good amount of capabilities. It seems like a well-built product and it's 25 bucks, man. That's really not bad. So, uh, do I recommend it for bugging out? Not for me, maybe for you. Do I recommend it for an inch bag? Yeah, absolutely. Do I recommend it for camping? Yep. So, the Stanley Prep and Cook Set, 10 pieces from Walmart in the the world has ended aisle, the camping aisle, about 25 bucks. Shalom.